Gilead Sciences has 30 years of experience tackling medical challenges behind many of the planet's life-threatening diseases. Gilead operates in more than 35 countries, pioneering and delivering innovation and treatments in its bid to make a healthier world for all people. I sat down to talk to Joy Deep Ganguly from our position here at COP28 in Dubai. Joy Deep, great to see you. Thanks for joining us. What is Gilead's mission? And can you share some of the ways that Gilead has advanced the fields, particularly of virology and oncology? Gilead Sciences was one of the world's oldest biopharma companies. We are united with a common purpose and a mission which is to create a healthier world for everyone. Uh, the operative words here are healthier world and for everyone. Uh, we not just invest in innovative science that is intended to uh, discover, develop, and deliver innovative therapies to people with debilitating diseases, uh, but we also focus very heavily on the everyone aspect of our mission, which involves us ensuring that our access ecosystem, our societal barriers to care work, they're as, as important as our investment in our science. In terms of the focus areas, we've got a multi-pronged strategy that involves looking at virology, oncology, inflammation. We're incredibly proud of the advancements in our virology space. Uh, to name a few things, we've taken HIV from a fatal near-death sentence to one where now it's well controlled and in many cases prevented. We were one of the first companies to use the audacious word cure. Uh, and we came up with a cure for hepatitis C. Um, we're also a, a company that reacts very quickly and when we were faced with the unprecedented pandemic, uh, we mobilized very quickly and were one of the first companies to have an approved therapy uh, against COVID-19. Uh, in terms of oncology, um, we are deeply motivated by being a top oncology company in a few years and bringing 20 plus transformative therapies. Um, and we do so by not just approaching oncology disease states in terms of the biology, but by looking at different ways of addressing cancer. Uh, KITE, uh, a Gilead company, is actually the world leader in cell therapy, which is just one of those investments we are making in terms of reshaping the way uh, we are approaching and um, attacking cancer. How has Gilead expanded its focus beyond medicines to address health inequities and improve access to care? At Gilead, we recognize that innovation is most powerful when you combine it with an access ecosystem that ensures that the innovation is accessible by everyone. And we do this through a variety of ways. Uh, ESG is not something that's new to Gilead. It's something that's been woven into our fabric from day one. But our entire access ecosystem sort of tranches itself into multiple pillars, be it in terms of our philanthropy. Uh, we're very proud of the fact that we are ranked number one globally in terms of uh, global philanthropy, in terms of HIV-related uh, causes. Uh, it's in terms of our partnerships with the community systems and healthcare systems. Uh, we've partnered with the organizations like the WHO, uh, as well as uh, community organizations to ensure that our medicines make its way to all parts of the world. Uh, but it's also trying to tackle the most intractable disease states, and a great example is in terms of the uh, you know, neglected tropical disease areas, visceral leishmaniasis, for example. It's a debilitating disease, can be a death sentence, uh, but we've been working with not just the WHO, but the worldwide ecosystem to ensure that our drugs, which are super helpful in this case, are made available to everybody. And when you think of this sort of philanthropy, partnerships, uh, as well as commitment approach, uh, it goes back to what we are super proud about at Gilead, which is innovation alone is not going to fix the world. When you think of health inequities, you sort of step back and take a look at things like stigma. You think of things like financial resources. You think of things like access. And when you combine a spirit where you're actually focused on ensuring that medicines are available to everyone, you make the innovation that much more powerful, that much more compelling. And that is something that sort of unites everybody at Gilead. Can you discuss the intersection of health equity and sustainability? Not just at Gilead, but I think by now um, we're pretty much at the point where we recognize that you can't have a health equity conversation without talking about climate science. Uh, when you think of air th things like air quality uh, or water quality, the debilitating impact where these natural resources that are being degraded have on uh, this disease modalities right now is well understood. I think the notion that you can actually 
try and pursue health equity without worrying about the planet and our shared commitment towards ensuring ecological preservation. Um, we can't have these conversations without addressing both, which is why at Gilead there's a very common refrain that we believe that it's our responsibility uh, to do well by doing good. Um, in essence, our entire focus around climate science as well as sustainability bleeds into our desire that we want to try and make this world a healthier place for everyone. Why is sustainability important for Gilead? And can you share an area you are passionate about right now? Sustainability is part of our social responsibility commitment. It's something that we don't consider to be a hobby. It's not something that we consider to be a compliance imperative. It's something that we actually believe is part and parcel of our business way of working. Sustainability truly is woven into the fabric of Gilead's DNA. And you'll see that happen not just in things big, but in things and business processes small as well. Be it in terms of the way our scientists discover drugs, or the way our PDM and pharmaceutical development and manufacturing teams develop and scale the drugs up, to the way we build our facilities, every business process at Gilead has a sustainable analog that's built into our specification and standard. And the reason we believe sustainability is that important is an obligation to ensure that as we grow, as we succeed in life, that we are doing good by not just the planet, but by our entire social sort of true north. In terms of sustainability and its importance into the way of working, we also believe that it drives a different thoughtful way of looking at things. Uh, a particular area that I'm passionate about is the intersection of both digital transformation and thoughtful master planning in terms of sustainability. The way we use common city resources, the way we use land, the way we use water. Our sustainability program sort of blends itself into things like product, waste, water, carbon. They're all intrinsically impacted by the way we actually decide how our footprint plays out in the real world. Uh, in terms of things that I'm super passionate about, I really believe the best of sustainability is yet to come. Uh, we're at the inflection point in terms of digital transformation, where we truly believe we can revolutionize the way people think of sustainability, be it in terms of sensors, be it in terms of corporate real estate tools, be it in terms of how AI and machine learning algorithms are creating much greater utilization of our assets. And I actually believe that digital transformation will also provide a common, inertialist way of getting to the point where every company can actually approach sustainability. And it's not going to just be uh, given to just a few companies that believe they have the resources to approach this. Final thought, how do you envision creating a healthier world for people in a sustainable manner? Creating a healthier world for people can only be done in a sustainable manner. When you think of our approach at Gilead, we think sustainability is not just the responsibility of four or five people. It's not just the responsibility of the sustainability working group or the corporate social responsibility steering committee. We think sustainability, much like things like quality, compliance, integrity, they're part and parcel of everyone's job. The best way to actually make this um, a way by way we get to the healthier world for everyone tenant is by making it a team sport. Which is why at Gilead, sustainability isn't just done through big capital projects or massive investments in renewables or massive investments in electrification. It's done by embedding it in a grassroots movement where everybody is empowered to create a more sustainable way of working be it in terms of ecology, be it in terms of the way the cafes work, be it in terms of the way our bus programs work. There is a sustainable way of doing everything at Gilead. And we are not just encouraged, but we're empowered to pursue that. And in doing so, we really, I think, will get to the point where creating a healthier world for everyone won't just be a corporate narrative or a, or a clever saying. It becomes a true north that guides us, unites us, and gives us meaning and purpose. Jody, great to talk to you. Thanks very much.